Well, thanks so much. Thanks for, to the organization. I, I like to have a lot of different people in my school. And uh, I'm going to present my uh, communication teaching architecture uh, through diagrams and algorithms. Um, I will focus the teaching architecture in, on the top of the presentation. I will always be there. Uh, I will tell you why. Um, I, w I'll, I would like to have all these questions on screen also during all the presentation. Uh, what are we doing in the schools of architecture? We are throwing people to the market, um, building something. Uh, maybe sometimes we don't know why architects do. Uh, um, we don't know how is our ecosystem. Uh, we have uh, some data, we have um, service, we have a lot of information, but it's separately sometimes. We don't have a complete vision of what we are doing. And uh, I'm going to ask what are the indicators we have. Sometimes we have the indicators from the university. Here in Spain we have the ANECA, and they, they ask for some uh, indicators I will show you. And with that indicators, which kind of world we can uh, reconstruct? If we don't uh, live this reality, if we only see that indicators, uh, which reality do we have? And then, uh, uh, which reality must be defined? We hope to have all the information of all the data uh, to understand what we are doing. So, what we are doing. In the European uh, Councils of Architects, we have um, information of like that. We have different information, different charts uh, about um, how many architects, how many professionals are, uh, the age, the, the gender, but uh, we must do uh, know what we are doing really, because all the data of the Architects Council are, are professionals uh, uh, who's building at this moment. So uh, in in Spain now we ha we have uh, well, well in 2020 we have uh, 44 degrees because of the adaptation of the 34 uh, uh, Spanish schools and. Uh, in 2020, we have uh, 70,000 people uh, enrolled in our schools. So, uh, which relation are it between the students and the profession, and the real profession of, of architect? Because uh, all we know, the architect is, uh, or has uh, different ways, no? But the only way we have the specific is to build. The, um, the reality is, is built by architects. And, well, it's, it's, it's not completely true, but uh, we have the power to design and to, the power to design our environment. So, which indicators do we have? We have uh, cut of marks, degrees offered, uh, places offered, pre registered numbers. All of them are numbers. If we put a line of the, how the education is planned, we have at first the ideation of the study plan, the adaptation, the implementation of the plan, and then starts the, the student's part. Uh, all of these reference are uh, numbers about the process of um, where the students are, like they were, uh, I don't know, sausages in a production uh, of uh, meat market. We are, uh, we are numbers sometimes. We, are, we don't know something about the quality of the students when they left school, for example. We don't have real indicators about that reality. So with these indicators, which reality we, do we have? We can find uh, charts like this. Uh, we don't know if it's good or not. We only know if the number of students are increasing or not. But we don't know how they are uh, 
really uh, form it, you know. So, if we start with the timeline, we are going to uh, through more dimensions. Now we only have this line, the timeline, and we are going to uh, put in the, this line uh, more dimensions. We are going to put more layers. One of these is the uh, professional profiles we have in the Libro Blanco. It's a, a Spanish publication about how the title must be, the curricula must be, and we have these five uh, profiles. So, uh, graphic methods, technical expertise, real estate action, urbanism, and building. And when we implement the these profiles in our uh, schools, we have uh, teaching, uh, the process of teaching have subjects, we must do, adapt these five profiles to our subjects and start the learning process, start the communication with the students starts here. And then these students uh, left the school and uh, obtain competences, obtain uh, the responsibilities, yeah. So we are going to center in this part. Uh, how is the process between the professional profiles and the competencies when they left the school? We have all of these skills, suppose that we have after left the school, and I uh, imagine a first uh, graphic about how do we are getting the, the skills uh, during the, the teaching process, during the graduate. Uh, if we change the, the point of view, we, we have a black area, is the skills for some reasons, from logistical, economical, or personal reasons, we uh, lose the opportunity to teach some of the previous skills I, I showed you. Well, so if we start again to show a r real reality, uh, we put all these profiles in, in the curriculum development with other activities. It's supposed that the students uh, can uh, offer us more uh, more indicators. In the first part, the students uh, is not yet, but we we can understand that we have uh, an expectative part in the uh, at the beginning. The, the profiles are uh, um, I don't know how to say muy muy amplio, un perfil muy amplio. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, and uh, in the moment of the implementation of the plan in the school, we uh, left some some skills. We left some opportunities because the adaptation of the school. And during the training, uh, we also continue with some problems, uh, economic or uh, spatial, uh, logistical or personal, because of the students, because of the teaching. And uh, we have some indicators, but now at this moment are theoretical. We, we don't know the results. We will see you later. But you will see that the uh, students on the first uh, year of the graduate starts with uh, basic skills. No? And during the process, when they uh, get the fifth year, uh, they are in that position. We lost A and B, for example. So, and now in the TFM and master, uh, they need to um, improve they, what they were learning in the old course to get again the skills they supposed that they must have. But the reality is not in that way. Um, I was visiting the schools in Portugal and in Spain. I in made interviews to 1,800 uh, students with a 
Mentimeter mode is like doing presentations. I have massive results. I have a big uh, spreadsheet of uh, this 1,800 people uh, answering three, uh, sorry, 33 questions. So I have a big database to uh, looking for new indicators. Um, the new indicators are about how the people uh, in the school, how they are. Uh, I'm going to show you the answers to all of these indicators. But it's for, in one part, uh, we want to know the people who are uh, learning because it's easy for the teachers to, uh, to show the people uh, um, how to teach the people uh, if you know the reality of, of him. Um, not personal, but the general of the, the people. Uh, about how the, the students uh, uh, feel in school, how, uh, about how is this, the spaces of the school, about the objectives they have in their minds, because if we don't no, the expectations of the people, maybe uh, we don't teach them well. So, uh, for example, the profiles I, I interview, most of them, uh, they, they profile, they self-define uh, as creative, most of them, but there's an equilibrium. So. Um, for example, about the interest they, they feel uh, of the other students. Uh, these results, sorry, these results are from the uh, Madrid School of Architecture. Uh, because I'm going to show you the theoretical graphic with the complete results. I have uh, questions about not numbers, not uh, scales. If not, uh, they they could re um, answer uh, with with words with uh, with a mobile phone. They can send me uh, answers to the presentation, and I have a big cloud of semantic environment uh, about the, for example, the attitudes they must to to have or the competences that they expect to have. Um, how is the school? How is the spaces of the school? They also, uh, about the the time they spend out of the school, which is the dedication of all the subjects. We see, for example, the atelier is most of the important. What they do in the free time, or if they uh, they. They have some other activities. And uh, we start to have more indicators like, like this. Um, you see, uh, the indicators, for example, uh, I don't know if you can see from there. But there are indicators, for example, only 8% of the people, when they uh, finish the graduate, they think they are ready to. No problem. Only the five percent of the people think they are uh, ready to work after the the work of the end of the degree. So I think it's a, a very big problem. And only the twelve percent have the finished the habilitant uh, master. Uh, they think to th they can work uh, alone. Yeah. And for example, there is a moment when the the training or learning process finished, that there are people who don't want to continue in school. Maybe it's an intention, but it's um, a number or an indicator we must have taken care of. You, you see there is a, a empty part here. For example, in the School of Madrid, only the 42% of the people want to continue from the uh, degree to the master. Maybe the next year they do the other half, but it's an indicator. And uh, at the end, here you see the work life. 
I did other uh, survey to the professionals. I, in, in that case, it was an online survey, and 200 people answered. And uh, I tried to uh, ask the people about the uh, skills they must uh, have, the competences they must have. And to understand what we are doing. It's supposed that the 90% uh, of the work we have is building design. And more of the 60% are private housing. Maybe this data uh, from the Architects Council of Europe, I, I don't really think they are correct or only they are two architects that are, they are working in, in building processes. So I get all of this reality, uh, but we can put in order of the five profiles of the ANECA asked to uh, divide the, the architecture like a discipline. So uh, if you see the highlighted parts in pink, um, you will see a lot of uh, negative indicators. They are under the medium supposed to have. In this moment, uh, the percent is uh, 56%. So um, the 56% or the half of the half part of the skills we supposed to have, uh, we, uh, we, self, we have the self-knowledge about we are not really uh, ready for continue to, to work or it's supposed that in these skills we must to, uh, get more uh, teaching or continuing or maybe the title we have must change to uh, improve these uh, indicators. So uh, I, I'm finishing. Um, in the end of the graphic, we see, uh, sorry, um, uh, this graphic shows the reality from the beginning. Uh, in the middle part, there is the part of finishing the degree, the indicators we have, and in the end, how the uh, this skills we must to uh, to have what we think about. So uh, this is the complete uh, graphic. I think this graphic is good for uh, it has relevance of for the degree if we want to make changes in the reality of our future titles to know where we are. It's a big process between the, the uh, starting to think about the, the, the plan to the end of the process, maybe it can pass 20 years. If we have a big database and we increase uh, the number of results, we can have a, the, big reference or, or better that reference to, to take decisions about how we can continue with the, with the teaching process. So that's all, thanks so much.